I normally, I do when I'm dressing up, like to be more of a romper jumpsuit gal. That's where I'm comfortable. But I plan on drinking later tonight and I can't do both. Uh, I just, that's too many moving parts for my night to be good. I can't. For all the boyfriends and husbands in the room, a romper is when everything is attached. So like shorts, elastic waistband, shirt. Very elongating. I look at least 5'2 when I wear them. It's really something. The last memorable time I was in a romper, I was at a music festival with some of my friends. And again, looking 5'2, so hot. And I was partying, right? We were at an EDM festival, so we were drinking and smoking. And I took a teeny tiny bit of three hits of acid. <laughs> It was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Which is saying a lot because I have that shitty degree I can't stop bringing up. <laughs> my dance move for the night had less to do with the music and more to do with me wrapping my head around the idea that feet are in shoes. So it was just a lot of me like... <laughs> I thought if I stomped one more time, I was going to crack the code on why we as a society wear shoes, you know, like really deep stuff. And all that stomping really rattled my bladder around and I had to go pee. So I made it to the bathroom, bragger alert. And what sucks so much about rompers is you're so cute in them standing up. And then when you go to pee, you take off fucking everything you're wearing. I went from being an adorable human being to a potato with nipples in like no time flat. Just like, ugh, like all the parts I like least about my body are just folded on top of each other. Like, blah, 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 blah. just like pizza dough with googly eyes. You understand what I'm saying? Just like, blah, blah, blah. don't forget, I'm tripping balls. So there I am in this porta pot, a little sentient chicken nugget taking a whiz. Just like, ah. And I was so distraught by everything I just put my body through that when I finished peeing, I went to pull up my outfit and out of habit, I stopped at the waistband. Because that's where most of my outfits ended. And I was like, oh no, where's my shirt? I looked for it, AKA waved my arm around twice and was like, it's gone. So I had to move on to the next plan, right? I'm always thinking, kind of. So I reach right past where my shirt is and grab all the cash out of my pocket. And I'm like, I'll give this to my friend waiting for me outside so he can go buy me another shirt. <laughs> and I hand it to him in the scariest way a person can because I was trying to stay modest. So I looked like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. I was like, hey, you got to go buy me a shirt. And I hand him the scariest wad of cash that's ever existed. And this would have been a perfect plan had this not been the friend that just took a bunch of acid with me, okay? A useless person. It's like if I saw a cat on the street and was like, can you braid my hair? Like, <laughs> and he proved this to be true because I gave him the cash. He said, I got you, girl. And then he came back with a Jack and Coke. <laughs> and I lost my shit. I was like, I, I, I needed a shirt. <laughs> And there was a security guard watching everything. And whatever she was getting paid to be there that night, it just wasn't enough. Like, we know this to be a fact. And she couldn't take what was going on for one more second and just screamed at the top of her lungs, your shirt is on your pants! <laughs> She made such a good point. I, uh, I just really hadn't looked at it like that before. So I searched around and the call was coming from inside the house. My shirt was right there. And I put it back on, went back to being adorable almost immediately. Who are we kidding? And I left that porta potty with my head held high and I grabbed that Jack and Coke because I paid for it, okay? Okay.